Enemy cruiser sunk. Hello, everyone. Fresh potato back with another video. <laughs> and today we are in the tier eight Soviet battleship, the Sovetsky Soyuz or Soyuz. I think it's Soyuz. <laughs> so, and the Sovetsky Soyuz. Ah, this is one of those battleships, you know, that I like because of the high velocity shells that get straight to the point, you know, the laser shots. I tend to play or pretend to like battleships or battle cruisers or super heavy cruisers <laughs> with that type of firepower, you know. I prefer those. And the Sovetsky Suyas. Uh, it's one of the hardest hitting ships in the game, uh, in my opinion. I believe it hits harder than most. Uh, I have, I, I'm not a, you know, I'm not too much of a stat guy, and I wish I was, uh, a stat guy or one of those guys like, uh, Spartan Elite that just knows every ship's armor for some reason. <laughs> Man, I wish I could do that, but... Uh, Sovetsky Soyuz, I think, I believe it's one of the hardest hitting ships in the game when it comes to its AP. Okay, and if you put the right build on it, I tend to use, uh, what's his name, Galler for the accuracy. And I combine Galler with, uh, Ciliax. And, uh, I can, I either go with, with the other inspiration, I would either go with, uh, uh, the AL New Jersey commander for even more power, more AP power, or I'll go with Cunningham for more, uh, uh, better dispersion and accuracy. And I believe on this build, I have Cunningham with Ciliax and it, it gives me a hard hitting ship. It's kind of, kind of a meme, you know, build here. But here we line up the Owami, and we got a pretty good chunk out of him with our AP. And in the in the Soviet battleships, even though Galler's um, his main uh, what do you call that? His main thing is uh, boosting your your HE shell damage. I don't really use HE shells in my Soviet battleships because it's pretty long reload. I stick to my AP and. Because they're rail guns, basically. Look at that. Bow! <laughs> As we nail that Shimakasi, and then he gets nailed with torpedoes from our friendly destroyer. And here goes the Minotaur. And the Minotaur, and oh wow, look at the look at all the de demon sh the demon fish here. Uh, of course, we have a flood, and we are about to die. <laughs> now let's see, can we survive long enough? to get enough damage or to get a good a good uh a good amount of damage but here we're gonna line up the minotaur with our rail guns we're gonna take the shot straight to the point and we take a big chunk out of him bringing our total to 70,000 damage and in this game i'm not gonna get a lot of kills i'll tell you right now I am just going to cause havoc with my railguns. That's it. <laughs> That's the whole purpose of this video, That's really, is done. to showcase my railguns because to me, they're satisfying to watch go off, <laughs> get straight to the point, get straight to someone citadel, <laughs> and just cause a lot of problems for the enemy. And uh, we line up the uh, Iwami superstructure. And the Iwami is one of those ships, to me, I just have a hard time sometimes getting good hits on it you know there it's just it's, it's kind of it's one of those ships just hard to do damage to when if it's not broadside it's just really a really well angled with if you can angle good with that ship you can last fire on the two battles <laughs> okay you can last a long time you know but here the awami is going to make that cardinal mistake of showing broadside to a sovetsky suyas as we take the shot there, we do get the Citadel, we miss torpedoes, we dodge those, and we are we are okay. And I'm just here, I'm waiting for my repair to, to, to come back, 
and we do get it. Do I pop it? Yes, I do. And we are we are clinging on to life here. We are at 99,000 damage. How much damage can we get? <laughs> How much damage can we finish this game with? <laughs> do we last till the end of this game? <laughs> because, you know, with these invisible destroyers, you never know. But that's another good thing about the Sovetsky Suyas. It has pretty good armor if you angle properly. One of the best armor in the game as we I have no idea how I missed that shot <laughs> but anyway reasons right we're gonna go ahead we're gonna turn we're trying to dodge and, and dodge that that shimikaze and I'm trying to maintain a good angle here this Awami is keep showing me broadside because you know what it's trying to do it wants to torpedo me I should have aimed that shot a little better and try to aim it towards the what is that the cheek the uh, underneath the the second turret and for new players that's the rule of thumb where you where you want to aim most of the time when you're trying to get uh, good citadel hits aim to get the, your shot to hit the ship underneath the second turret I would say that's if you want to get a good uh, good citadel hit and that's what I'm doing here trying to get it to where it goes boom right in or underneath the second uh, turret Bringing our total to now 143,000 damage. Let's give them a hard time. And now we're we're trying to creep forward into uh towards the the GK. And what is that other ship? Is that a uh, Yamato? I'm not sure. Capture that area. And I'm pinging my cruisers. If you look on my destroyers on the map, if you look on the map, uh, to capture that area, as this GK makes a very very dangerous turn in front of me and I was I was hoping to get another kill here but we just take a little chunk out of him we did get our high caliber medal that brings our total to now 147,000 damage and we are clinging clinging on to life guys we're clinging on to life we should have been removed a long time ago we have no more no more consumables I should have been using my planes more but not really because they probably would have been shot down and here I'm gonna try to line up this the Seaflin and now I do pop the plane and let's see what happens get a good not a good shot off nice laser beam shot can we get a Citadel no <laughs> no we don't that is pretty disappointing war gaming please you got it you gotta you gotta give us a break here okay that should have been a Citadel all right that I, I know I aimed that good enough. I did lead them good enough. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything anymore as I take the shot in vain. <laughs> but we do, we do, we ended up finishing the game here, clinging on to life, which, you know, you like to see that. You love to see it, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, what did we get here? We finished the game with 154,000 damage. We're top of the leaderboard in XP. We finished with 2694. Uh, we did get only one kill. Um, and we did get our two medals. But like I said, this game was, it was all about the damage we were taking at low health. Okay? We were low health, but we didn't give up. We continued to help our teammates out lowering hp on enemy ships and then our teammates will come along and clean it up you know when you're down on 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 your xp early in the game you know it, it's still there's still hope you can affect the game in a positive way just keep shooting keep playing we finish with our two medals which is the dreadnought medal and of course my favorite medal the high caliber thanks for watching Enemy cruiser sunk.